born in Santander, Sergio Canales is the jewel in the crown of the Cantabrian club's youth system. Since bursting onto the scene this season, he's become the championship's biggest discovery. In only his first full season, he's already a key part of Rafin's strategies, but Sergio has always been precocious. Ever since I was at school, I've always played with older kids. My friends are friends from school, but they're all older than me. I've always been used to playing with them, so I've moved up really quickly. I think you have to go at the speed they impose on you, and this is the rhythm they've given me at Rafting, and I'm happy with it. Canales made the front pages a few weeks ago when the news that he had signed for Real Madrid was made public. When he realized the club was serious in its interest, he took the decision to sign without hesitation. No, it was my first option. I've always said that and I'm really happy. Among his many excellent performances this season, which have led to his signing for Real Madrid, one stands out above all the others. It was on the 9th of January in the Ramon Sánchez Pizjuán. The youngster played a blinder and scored two superb goals, which gave the three points to Racing. It was the day that Spanish football learned the name of Sergio Canales. It was a difficult match. We went out to win in a difficult ground in front of a lot of people. It's one of Spain's biggest grounds. And I think it took us a while to get into the match. But when we did, the two goals were good, but the important thing were the three points. And anyway, the assists, especially the first one from Munitis, were worth at least half a goal. One of the keys to the youngster's extraordinary performances is his relationship with Santander coach Miguel Ángel Portugal, a man who saw Canales' talent as soon as he came to the club after the start of the season. I'm really happy. He gave me the opportunity. Ever since he came, he's believed in me, and I can only say how thankful I am. Now I'm just another member of the team. That's how he treats me, and I'm really happy. At the weekend, Rathing received the visit of Madrid, and it will be a special day for Sergio. Santander are still fighting for survival, and if they make it, it will be thanks to their form away from home. In the Sardinero, it's proving harder for them to get the results. It's true that we're suffering more at home than away. Our tactics are based on our speed on the counter-attack. And when teams come here, they tend to close up more, and that makes it hard for us. Against Madrid, all eyes will be on Canales. But the youngster has shown that he thrives under pressure, and he'll be trying to play his game, give it all he's got, and give Rathing fans a reason to celebrate.